All right, we're going to talk about x-rays, Pokemon cards, sports cards, and all the bullshit going on right now. And no, this isn't I have a script in front of me, Brian. This isn't get angry and tough love for the camera, Brian. This is actually pissed off me because somehow, somehow, we have found a way as a people to ruin one of the few teeny tiny little speckles of 1980s to 1990s magic that we had. Somehow we found a way to F that up. It's baffling. With all the crazy shit going on in this world, that somehow we can't make this, f we can't make this a thing anymore? Really? Be because, look, I love capitalism. I make money on this. This is, this is my bread and butter, quite literally. But how on earth have we gotten to a point where we can't even trust that this shit hasn't been looked at? We're beyond, you know, ripping them open and and freaking resealing them with glue. We're beyond that now. What is this? this okay, look, it's a freaking, uh, it's a Slow King EX. We're, I could have known that already because all I have to do nowadays is take this pack of Paldea Evolved, send it to some guy, and go, hey, scan this. Oh, it's a Slow King EX. That card sucks. Let's sell it to somebody. That's where we're at now. We're at a point where, yes, you and me can take a booster pack, pay $65, send it to some corporate assholes, have them scan it and go, yep, that's the Charizard, keep that one. Mm, that one sucks, that's a Clefairy, S sell it on eBay. That's where we're at now. Somehow we found a way to cheat code trading card booster. How? Remember Pokemon Go? Like before Pokemon Go was a thing when shiny Pokemon were cool? Like remember like soft resetting at your friend's house in the basement while you ate like crappy Little Caesars pizza and you drank pop from two liters? Remember sitting on the couch just soft resetting your DS, and then like th your friend's mom would come in and be like, aren't you both gonna actually play the game? And you're just like, we are playing the game, mom, as you're turning on and off your console. Remember that? Because you wanted to get that one green Espeon. And then Pokemon Go came, and the action replay, and Game Sharks, and people are like, oh, well, I just inputted this little 30-digit line of code, and now all the Espeons are green. Remember when that ruined shiny Pokemon? That's what we're on a road to do now. Like, we ruined, we ruin everything. Everything gets ruined. Sometimes it's not even for money. Sometimes, it, I, don't, I don't know the motivations half the time. Everything that, that we as humans do gets devalued. Like, at the drop of a hat. To what end? Are we going to get to a point where I want to see Deadpool and Wolverine, which comes out today, I think? Are, am I at a point in a year from now where I go, hey... I'd like a ticket for Deadpool versus Wolverine, and hey, I'll pay an extra $65 to find out what happens right now. We might as well be there, right? Why aren't we just selling tickets to the end of movies? Why aren't we selling tickets to the last paragraph of a book? Why are we so obsessed with getting to the end of things? And yet we claim we're bored. We're in this boredom, loneliness epidemic with the height of technology at its prime. We, we claim as people that we need more to do and everything's expensive. So we take the one thing that's not expensive yet, like trading cards, video games, blah, 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 blah. And we find a way to speed run to the end. Like, oh, I, this is the Charizard. This is the Blastoise. This is a freaking shiny Espeon. How did we find a way to rush through the teeniest, tiniest things that are actually still worth a damn? It's insane to me. It's not surprising, but it should be surprising. So, if you guys are still with me at this point, basically what happened was a kid, some nerd on YouTube, nothing wrong with him, he uh, bought some x-ray machines on eBay for like $1,500. Put about five grand into it, a couple of months, and he's like, I wonder if I can scan Pokemon packs and see what Pokemon cards are inside. Innocent enough, just a little science fun, he's a nerd. And he's like, oh yeah, you know, there's a Ninetales in this one or whatever. And so, of course, people in the comment section start freaking out. They're like, they're like, oh, um... You know, this is sketch, like, how long have people been able to do this for? And so then this other guy on Instagram, he was, like, in the Panini Sports, NFL sports cards world, whatever. And he's like, hey, just so you know, um, you know, people have been doing this for a hot minute. We use this x-ray CT scan technology to make sure we open our boxes safely if there's a good card inside. That, that was, that was the, the caption. Open the box safely if there's a good card inside, which is code for, I don't want to get sued or killed when I say this, but we scan, uh, you know, sport cards packs, and if there's good stuff in there, we keep them, and for the cards that don't have anything good, we sell them on eBay. That, that was the I don't want to get sued lingo for that particular situation. So this all happened within like the same couple weeks. So then this company, I'm not even going to say their name, and they're like, hey, you know, we 
they have, it's an industrial manufacturing company. So they basically have big, fancy-pantsy machines for fancy-pantsy companies. They scan stuff as it comes in for manufacturing purposes. I don't know. Anyway, they have these big, fancy scanners. And they catch wind of the story. And they see it as a marketing opportunity to show their clients, wow, hey, guys, hey, manufacturing company people, our scanners are so good at what they do we can take a booster pack of Pokemon cards. Have you heard of those Pokemon cards? We can take a booster pack of those, scan those, and tell you exactly what's inside, detail for detail. Now come use us for your manufacturing CT scan. That was the claim. And the guys quoted saying that. We didn't intend on doing anything with the market. They said in the article, I'll, quote, I'll, I'll leave the article in the description. I'll leave the article because you can follow along. The guy, the, the, the CEO of this manufacturing CT scan company, literally in the article states, I'm not going to quote him perfectly, but it's not really uh, financially prudent or it's not financially efficient to do this uh, for the sake of Pokemon cards. You know, we're just doing this as a marketing stunt. That was a marketing stunt. Well, guess what happened like 48 hours later, maybe, maybe a little long. Guess what happened a few days later? They open up a website where for 65 Dolores, you can send in a booster pack and they'll tell you what's inside. This guy went from it's a marketing stint to a full-blown company in a few days. I mean, come on, dude. Get some balls and just say it from the beginning. Like, did you really not see that this is more lucrative than your stupid, uh, you know, internal B2B industrial company? You really didn't see the lucrativeness of this? Were you, were you trying to hide it? What was the deal here? And so that guy's an asshole. But let's, let's back up a little bit here. This is going to be a long rant, obviously. So there's a few things we need to discuss. Number one, this has been a thing probably for a decade or longer. This technology involving taking a CT scanner, x-ray, whatever the hell, and scanning a box, this technology is not new. There's nothing new or groundbreaking about it. Do you really think that this nerd on YouTube was the first guy that knew how to use a, a scanner and thought I should scan a Pokemon card? I've been thinking about scanning Pokemon booster packs since I was five. Like, other people have done this, and the Panini sport card guy proved that. He's like, oh yeah, well we make sure uh, if the packs if, if the packs inside are valuable, we make sure to open the box just right. Like, it's been done. So there's a few questions that this opens up. Number one, how long has this been going on for? And number two, how many people have done it? And number three, how prevalent has that been? How, how widespread is this? Because when news breaks, it's not because something is new. It's because something has been revealed right? Like, it's, it's like when you see an ant in your house, and you see a, an ant walking around. That's not the f only or the first ant in your house. No, that is the 72nd ant in your house, and there are 200 more somewhere else. Like, where there's smoke, there's... This has been going on, and whoever's at the top, whoever started doing this, they could be in Belize, they could be in the U.S., they could be in Romania. Whoever started this and is, like, really pioneering it behind the scenes... They're pissed right now because some guy on YouTube did it as a little science project. It went viral and then people started asking questions. So that's the first thing. How many of you have been affected by this? In the Pokemon world, eh, I'd argue to say maybe not that many. In the sport card world, it seems like there's a good chance that you're a victim of this because anything you ever bought, vintage sports, you know, you bought it at a convention, you bought it on, on eBay, Mercari, whatever. There's a chance, I don't know what chance it is, I'm not going to pretend to spew out numbers here, but there is a chance that that is on someone's reject sloppy seconds pile. They scanned 30 cases of these Panini sport cards, and you bought a box from the eh pile. There's a, there's a chance of that. I don't know how good of the chance, like I said, but there's a chance that anything on the market right now has already been scanned. And theoreticals aside, let's just talk about what this means for the future, because... You've got this company. I'm not going to say the name. We're going to call them a, we're going to call them a hole, a hole manufacturing company. You got you got a hole manufacturing company, right? And so they're not even a trading card company. What they do, all of a sudden, you know, they used to do industrial behind the scenes B two B type stuff. But now what they do apparently, they have a website set up where you can submit to your cards as if they're like PSA or something, and they charge. I think it's like 65, 70 bucks. And you submit your packs, and then they send you uh, basically a document that says, okay, well, these are the images we found. You, as a consumer, have to discern what that is. So they'll have like, kind of a shadow that looks like a Pikachu. And then you, as a consumer, you get back their report, and you're like, oh, it looks like there might be a Pikachu in this pack. Ooh. 
So that's that's the premise of it. These guys clearly, they don't know what they're doing because this isn't their thing. You can't just find technology for a certain niche and then just become an expert at it. That would be like, uh, like my cousin Abby. She works here. She does a great job. She counts things. She packs things. She's organized as hell. She doesn't know a damn thing about Pokemon. I could give her all my stuff, give her my website, give her all my technology, and be like, all right, run this business. She wouldn't know how to do it, right? Because that's not her thing. She does nails professionally, very, very artistic nails. She could give me all her stuff, all her clients, all her, uh, you know, her, her lease, all that stuff. I wouldn't know what the hell I was doing because that's not my niche. These people have a technology. The technology works, but they're not a trading card company. They don't know anything about it. They have no idea. And I don't think they realize this this a-hole manufacturing company, I don't think they realize how many people, unfortunately, are going to come in droves to use them, and the infrastructure behind that is going to be a literal nightmare. So we're going to talk about them first. We're going to talk about all sorts of stuff. I don't have a script. I don't have a PowerPoint. You guys like it when I rant, so this is what we're doing. So what's going to happen is word of this story is going to get out. They're going to market it a little bit more. They're probably, probably, and, I, and you, can, you, you can bet on this one, they're probably going to get some YouTubers involved that shout them out. They're probably going to get some. Uh, they're probably going to get some YouTube sport people, some YouTube PSA people, some Pokemon people, some Yu-Gi-Oh people. They're going to find affiliates. So that's number one. Because why wouldn't you? You're going to find people trusted by the community, in the community that say, "Hey, this is a good idea. This is how to do it. It's super easy. Here's an affiliate link for a 10% off." That's the first thing they're going to do if they're smart. This is going to get warm under the camera. The second thing they're going to do is they're going to open up the floodgates. Right now they just do booster packs, but they'll do booster boxes eventually. they got to find a way to price those first. And then what's going to happen is way too many people, I don't know what number that is, but too many people are going to take this deal. They're going to send in their cards. It's going to be a liability nightmare because each pack, you know, you get a first edition base set, blah, 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 pack with the triangle on it, whatever the hell. There's going to be such an influx of stuff coming in that they don't know how to manage. They're going to be overwhelmed. It would be like me... If I said to my 21,000 subscribers, hey, now I'm going to be a middleman for Beckett, send me your cards, I wouldn't know what the hell to do. This company, to me, they're going to fail. Let, let me put that out there. They're not going to know what the hell to do. Here's what I think they're going to do, though. They're going to build this thing up. They're going to get somewhat of an infrastructure. They're going to build a website, which they already have. They did that real quick. They're going to get some affiliates. They're going to do some marketing. And then they're going to sell that part of their company to someone else. Someone's going to buy it. And then that someone is going to actually have knowledge in this. It's going to be some off-brand PSA type company, some what, ABC grading company. It'll be a grading company or someone similar to that that have some knowledge in TCG. So they're going to buy it for a fat check. The technology, the CT scanners, uh, they're probably going to get some employees from those facilities that know how to read this stuff. And then they're going to market it as exactly what you'd think they'd market it as. You want to see what's in your packs? Come on by. They're going to make it seem innocent, just like any other company would. They're going to make it seem like it's benefiting the customer. They're benefiting the community. There's a quote in the article. I don't remember what it said exactly, but basically the guy was like, yeah, you know, I don't see this as a, as a thing that harms the community or the, the, the market overall. I just see it as a new fun way to interact. It's like, I swear the quote is that ridiculous. Like this guy has no idea at all about any of this stuff. Like, if he really thinks that this isn't going to affect it badly, dude's either stupid or he's really, really trying hard to get people less pissed off. I don't know what it is. Keith, whatever your name is, like... Okay. So Keith is going to sell this to people who actually know what the hell they're doing, and then they're going to actually be probably successful with it, or a competitor's going to come in. The Pioneer never wins. So this company, A-Hole Manufacturing Inc., they've got the tech... They, they got some supporters, they're going to sell the company off. That's my prediction. Second prediction, this is going to take off. Might be a year, might be two years, but this will become a thing. And it will be as prevalent as weighed packs. The difference is, when you weigh a pack, other people can confirm if it's heavy or light, right? Like if you say, hey, you're at a convention, you go, yo, this is a heavy Paldea Evolved. Well, you know, if you're a smart consumer, you have your scale, because everyone brings around their dime scale, and you throw it on the scale, you're like, yep, it's 0.29 gram, whatever the hell it is, and then there's at least a mutual understanding, like, yep, you said it's heavy, I bought it heavy, it's heavy. With these scan packs, what you're going to get, this is going to be a thing, this will be lingo, so get ready, boys and girls, because on eBay, and, and conventions, and stickers, and listings, and auctions, it's going to say, you know, pack art, is it weighed, is it scanned, that'll be a thing, 
Like get you get ready for it, and you're not going to be able to confirm if it's if it's scanned because there's no, you know what I mean. It doesn't leave any imprints. There's no oh this has radiation on it. It must be a scanned pack. That's not a thing. So when you tell me a pack's heavier light, I can weigh it. But when you tell me a pack's scanned or not, there's no way to confirm. Right? There's no way at all. So like even if you're face to face with me and I have my scale and you have yours, there's no way to confirm. So. So it's a, it's not an even man's game. Like what, another quote the company says, you know, we want this technology available to people of all, uh, basically all, the poor people and the rich people. We want to make it mass available, like like they're doing the service for the world. It's like, bro, it's not ever going to be mass available because it's not as small as a freaking scale. That's Wade Packs, which Wade Packs, you know, say what you want. At least it's fair game if done fairly. The scan thing is not fair game, no matter how you do it, because you're taking the one, the only thing that makes a booster pack valuable is the mystery of what's inside. Otherwise, you just sell the singles, right? Like the only, this has only one value and it's chance. You are taking the one thing that's integral of a booster pack and you're, you're hacking it. It's like, it's a cheat code. It's, I mean, imagine if lottery tickets you could scan the lottery ticket at your house and go, oh, yep, this scratch off's a winner, this scratch off's a loser. And then imagine being able to legally sell that lottery ticket back to the market. That's that's what they're doing. Now you might go, well, Brian, it's not a lottery ticket. It's it's a it's a trading card, it's a toy. It's like, yeah, no shit. It's not illegal to do that. I'm not I'm not saying they're playing lot I'm the lottery police aren't gonna come and get you when you x-ray scan your Paldea Vault and sell the 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 lame ones off to the market. I, I'm not stupid, I know that. But that's, that's what's going on. And yes, that's totally legal. No, it probably will never be illegal. But god damn, really? Are we really there? Are we there where you can buy a freaking Powerball ticket, scan it at your own, you know, you send it to a third party, whatever, have them scan it for $60, whatever, and then just sell the ones that aren't winners? Are we really there? Yeah, we are there. And like, if you buy vintage, you better get used to it. You know, there's going to be a lot of people like, oh, well, you know, it's, it's your it's their property, so they should be able to do what they want. It's like, yeah, asshole, but then it goes to the market, and then it's everyone's property. It, it's going to flow. The shit flows down creek. Like, that Paldea Vault pack that I just manhandled with my protein hands, that's going to get sold to somebody, right? And then they're going to be able to choose, oh, do I want to weigh it? Do I want to do this? Do I? And then they're going to maybe sell it to somebody, or they'll open it, whatever. But this one pack could travel quite a ways. And it's just Paldea of all. I mean, it's not going to travel that far. But like a vintage pack, some Watsy first edition, blah, 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 that can trade hands six, seven times within a few years. And it's like, at what point, who's responsible at that point? It's like when you reseal a box. It's like, you know, if I get a box from, uh, you know, Collecticon and from its trustworthy person, but they bought it from someone they considered trustworthy, but then the person they considered trustworthy was feeling a little bit tipsy that day and bought it from someone that they thought was trustworthy, but eh, it's actually, it flows down creek. So someone even honest, you know, me, I, maybe I pay 60 bucks, I get this thing scanned, it's like, oh, you know what, this is actually, uh, this is a lame Pokemon, I don't want it. I sell it to my boy Chad, and I'm like, yo, Chad, just so you know, I scanned this, it's lame, uh, you know, don't, don't open it, it's not worth it. Well, then Chad's like, oh, okay, cool, like, I, I know what's in it, but, like, I'm just gonna, you know what I mean, it just keeps on going. So, should they outlaw this? No, it's not going to get outlawed. It's, it, this is obviously frivolous. This is like first world problems at its finest. But to, to claim that this is a good idea, even even to do the cop out of like, oh, well, it's sure going to change the TCG world. No shit, it's, gonna, it's not going to change the TCG. It's going to ruin it. It's going to ruin it. Why are we doing the cop out thing? What do you mean it's going to change? No, ace spec cards change the TCG world. You know, uh, d terrestrialization changed the TCG world. Making a super magical machine that scans every card in a pack where the whole intrinsic value of the pack is the mystery of the cards, that doesn't change anything. That ruins it. And let's not even talk about all the scams that are going to come out of this. Number one, like I said, this company, uh, A-Hole Manufacturing Inc., whatever, I don't think they're going to successfully pull this off. I really don't. I don't think they have the infrastructure. I don't think they have the skills. But somebody will. Someone down the line in 2027, they're going to get the technology, and they're going to know what the hell they're doing, and they're going to make a successful company. It's going to take a couple years, but they will be as prevalent as PSA, Beckett, CGC. Hell, one of those three companies might buy this technology. Who knows? Wouldn't surprise me. So this will be a thing. But until there's some established 
regulation in an unregulated market, there's going to be people like me and they'll be middlemen. So they'll be like, hey, I'm Brian. I've got a fancy scanner at home. I watch, I watch some YouTube videos and I know how to use it. Send me your packs. I'll tell you what's in them. And then I'm going to get a pack of, uh, you know, freaking base set first edition. It's a Charizard pack. I'm going to scan that sucker. I'll see, oh, there's a Charizard card in here. But I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to keep that card. I'm going to keep that pack. I'm going to give you a light Charizard pack that I have, you know, different Charizard art. It's got a Clefairy in it. I'm going to go, yo, good job, bro. You got a Clefairy. Now give me your 70 bucks and I'll keep that first edition Charizard too, bub. That's going to be a thing for sure. You're going to, of course, get auctions where they're going to claim never scanned. That's going to be a lie. That'll be a thing too. And there's no way to confirm it because, again, you can't take a scale and confirm, oh, nope, that was actually a light pack. You said it was heavy. Just, just, there won't be any way to prove it, so that's a scam. And speaking of conventions, what's going to get really crazy is give it a couple years, a couple years, but X-Ray Inc. is going to have booths at Collecticon. If Collecticon allows them to, I really hope you don't let that happen, but conventions like Collecticon, someone will rent a booth, X-Ray Inc. booth, and this will be very mainstream. This will be like a normal thing. No one will question it because in three years, everything will be different, right? And you'll be able to take your packs and be like, hey, can you scan this, Holmes? Yeah, come back in, you know, an hour. We'll have it scanned. And you're going to get your little pack and your little report. And you're going to walk around like a freaking ass clown that you are. Be like, hey, this pack's got a Charizard. See the reports? That's what that's what's going to happen. That's going to be a reality. And that would suck, right? Like, that. that's where we're going. We're going to see a bunch of people walking around with their booster packs and their little folder. Hey, this pack here? Um. Yep, that's, yep, that's got that hit. I, I will, I will literally never go to a convention again if, if someone comes up to me with their stupid little folder and their little packets of paper and tells me, oh, this one's got a Vaporeon and this one's got the new Evolution that's a Dragon type. Like, guys, are we really there? There is going to be 10 different ways to F over 10 different types of people from this person's perspective to this company's perspective to the, there is nothing good that is going to come out of this. Even if you own the booster pack, you have no nefarious plans up your sleeve. You just, you're an innocent, dumb person that owns a pack. You send it to X-Ray Incorporated. It comes back uh, and you really want a Charizard out of the pack. Well, then you just buy the damn Charizard. Go to TCG. But that's what singles are for. Like, that's the only scenario I can pull from the ether that's like neutral. And that doesn't even make sense, because if you wanted the damn Charizard, you just go buy the Charizard. You don't buy a pack and then pay 65, 70 bucks for the pack to get scanned in hopes of getting the Charizard. It doesn't make sense, so don't give me that. No one's going to be doing this for their own benefit. The only reason this is a thing is to F people over. I'm a business. I make money on this stuff. I make money making YouTube videos. I sell this stuff. You think daddy's money bought this? No, your money did, and I appreciate that. But we're all in the same playing field right now. I get packs from distributors or Japan. You give me money for them. There is a mutual understanding of what is being traded. I trade you packs. You give me cash. It's all the same. Now we've got this invisible hand. And it's effing it all up. Now, I don't think I made it clear. This isn't really going to affect modern for quite some time. Probably evolved just happens to be the bin I have in front of me. This is going to be a nightmare for vintage sellers, mostly, like vintage loose packs. You're not going to be able to trust anything you buy anymore. You're not, unless you really know the person. But then again, like I said earlier, you have to know the person and know all the people that person did business with in the past. You might have a really trustworthy friend, but he might have a friend that's less trustworthy. It's like freaking, that's like COVID. You know, you might have someone that washes their hands around you all the time, but, oh, you know, they brushed against someone that didn't wash their hands. And it's a virus. It's a pandemic. So, yeah, this isn't modern. This is, like, vintage sealed crap. I don't know. That's all I got to say. I've ranted for, I don't know, a lot of minutes on this. Protein shake's about empty. Uh, lean Body, if you're listening, I'd love the sponsorship. Give me free protein. Thank you. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's complete... I think it's rubbish. I think it's going to destroy. If it if it goes the way I'm thinking it's going to go, I think that whole like vintage booster pack Watsy era, all that shit, I think it's all done. 
I think it, it, it changed forever. I think it, I think it fucks everything up. So that's that's the real Brian. You wanted actual angry Brian? You got it. There you go. There's my rant for the day. Buy my stuff, pokeyne.com. We haven't scanned it yet.